New developments now in the protest at Columbia University as tensions escalate with students now barricaded inside a university building. Columbia's president says those students are facing expulsion tonight. The building Hamilton Hall sits on Amsterdam Avenue. It is across the main lawn from the encampment there with the tents through the windows of the building today. You could see furniture up against the doors and outside students used a rope and pulley to send up supplies to the people inside. We have team coverage on campus. We begin with CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram. She's live with the latest at Hamilton Hall. Jennifer. Hi, Jessica and Maurice. As you can see, emotions continue to remain high here outside of Columbia University since pro-Palestinian supporters stormed Hamilton Hall overnight. The campus responded, faculty here responded by locking down gates here, only allowing students who live on campus and essential workers to go in. So now these pro-Palestinian supporters are also demanding the gates be open. They'd be allowed back on campus. We have seen hundreds of demonstrators here on the streets, on the overpass, at one point, even on top of this building. Watch as pro-Palestinian supporters, most of them Columbia University students, according to school officials, forced their way into an academic building hours after faculty suspended students who ignored an order to break up their encampments and leave. It was pretty horrific to witness. Um, my uh, the, the building where I live in is actually adjacent to Hamilton Hall, so I could, I could hear the screaming. Cell phone video obtained by CBS2 shows demonstrators using hammers to break windows just after midnight before locking themselves inside of Hamilton Hall, the university's main administrative building, at one point even blocking the entrance. I got about five calls from my parents this morning, you know, asking for me to come home. I think it's hard for anybody to feel safe, and I think it's hard for anybody to, uh, to try and function normally as a college student and participate in exams and getting their papers. Done. It comes after Columbia University said it will not divest from Israel and threatened to suspend students who refuse to clear the encampment. Students are still going strong in the encampment as well. There's hundreds of students who are uh, spending time protecting the encampment, protecting their right to protest, and they're not willing to leave anytime soon. Demonstrators claiming to occupy the building, holding firm on their demands. Banners were even put up on each side of Hamilton Hall, an attempt to rename it Heinz Hall. Heinz Rajab, the name of a young Palestinian girl, demonstrated say was killed in the Israel Hamas war. Our demands are divestment disclosure and amnesty. The university hasn't been adequately addressing those demands, instead proposing further discipline. Mayor Adams condemning the actions of student activists and the NYPD is standing by. You can't call for peace by using violence. That's not acceptable. As of right now, the NYPD is always ready, but we will not be going on to Columbia's property without a specific request for them or not unless there is imminent danger, imminent emergency where we have to go on the property. Late Tuesday afternoon, students could be seen using a rope and pulley to send food and supplies to those inside the building. And we've also seen several students moving out of their dorms today, their loved ones picking them up. We, there was also a news conference held today by student negotiators. They were very adamant they are not going anywhere until their demands are met. They say that is why they sacrifice their education and their careers. Now, we have seen a bigger police presence here within the last hour or two. Barricades are also now up outside of Columbia University. It's still unclear if police will be allowed inside of the campus. We are live in Morningside Heights. Jennifer Bisram. CBS 2 News. All right, Jen, thank you. And this is not the first time Hamilton Hall has become the center of a student protest. The building was occupied during a student demonstration back in April 1968. Students took over five campus buildings while protesting multiple causes, including the Vietnam War. After several days, police moved in to remove the demonstrators exactly 56 years ago today on April 30th. More than 700 people were arrested and more than 130 were hurt. The 